I am Anil Kumar and in this video we are going to learn how to find polynomial characteristics from the given equation and we will actually concentrate on end behavior. The question here is use the degree and the sign of leading coefficient of each function to describe the end behavior of the corresponding graph. So we are given four polynomials here. You need to identify their degree leading coefficient and from them we can find the end behavior. You can pause the video, answer the question and then look into my suggestion. Now let's try to understand how to solve such a question. In general a polynomial could be written as f of x equals to a n x to the power of n plus a n minus 1 x to the power of n minus 1 plus so on till a1 x plus a0 right so in this form the degree of the polynomial is the highest exponent which in this case is n and a n becomes the leading coefficient so what we are really interested in finding out in is two things first a n right the leading coefficient and that is the degree this is the degree right this is what we want to find. So let's go through these polynomial equations. The first one is f of x equals to 2 times x to the power of 5 minus 2x square plus 5. Now the highest degree is 5, so degree is 5. So we'll write degree is 5 for us. Leading coefficient. Leading coefficient is associated with the term which has the highest degree. So here the leading coefficient is 2. So leading coefficient is 2. Now let's try to understand end behavior. End behavior depends on the degree and the leading coefficient, right? Now important thing here is when we are talking about end behavior, we are not interested in really the degree, right? We are interested whether the degree is odd or even, right? So we are basically interested in finding out whether the degree is odd or even, right? Similarly, for leading coefficient, we are not interested in the number, but we are interested whether it is positive or it is negative. So that is of our prime interest. That defines the end behavior, right? Now, what is end behavior? End behavior of the characteristics really mean how will the y value of the function or f of x will change when x is going towards minus infinity and when x is going towards positive infinity right those are the two ends on a line right so so when you are considering let us say a number line like this right in that case that is a y value this is the x value end behavior really means that when x value is becoming negatively large what is happening to f of x and what happens to f of x when x becomes positively large so that is the end behavior now, we have already identified the degree and leading coefficient. What we note here is that the degree is odd, right? So we can write odd here and leading coefficient is positive. Now, if the leading coefficient is positive, my rule for end behavior is for positive, we say right up. Right side is up, right? So that is a short form to remember that really means right side up means kind of like this do you see the, the graph on the right hand side will be going upwards that is in quadrant one now if it is right side up it means when x is approaching positive infinity f of x is approaching positive infinity so here i could say when x is approaching positive infinity f of x is or we could sometimes say y is approaching positive infinity right so i'll basically divide this into two columns the end behavior and write down what happens when x approaches positive infinity and what happens when x approaches negative infinity right so now we know since leading coefficient is positive right side is up now degree is odd degree is odd means opposite ends degree means opposite ends that means the other side will go towards the opposite end that means left side is down so that means for us opposite 
ends, right? So these are uh, simple ways of trying, you know, remembering the things. So when x is approaches negative infinity, so for this particular function, it is going to negative infinity. So we will say y is approaching negative infinity and that becomes the behavior for the first function, right? So that becomes the behavior of the first function. You get the idea. Now let's do one more so that you really understand. Now in this particular equation, what I've done is mixed up the terms. First term is not the one with highest degree. Highest degree is 7, which is the second term. So at times, you may notice that the terms are mixed up. Okay. Now here 7 is your degree. So I know 7, but I'll write odd. Since I know, it is important to know whether the degree is even or odd, right? So degree is odd. Now the coefficient is negative 2. So let me write leading coefficient as negative 2, right? Now leading coefficient negative 2 is negative, correct? Negative means what for me? Right side is down, right side is down, right? Right side is down. That is what it implies. Right side down means when x approaches positive infinity, y will approach negative infinity. You get the idea, right? So in this particular case, for f of x, it is approaching negative infinity, right? Now, 7 is odd, that means opposite end, so, so the left side will be up. So we could write that y will this time approach positive infinity. You get an idea, right? So this time, what we really find is that this is also odd degree function with negative leading coefficient where the end behavior is. When x approaches, I should write when x approaches negative infinity, y approaches positive infinity. When x approaches positive infinity, y approaches negative infinity, both opposite ends, right? Let's look into the next one now. Now here, what is the degree? Can you help me out? Degree is 4, right? So degree is 4 and 4 is even for us. Coefficient is 1, right? Coefficient is 1, which is positive for us. Positive means right side up, right? So it is going upwards, correct? So right side up. So that means if x approaches positive infinity, y also approaches positive infinity. And even means same side. Even means same same side. That is in short. Not opposite end. Same ends. So if that is going up, this will also go up, right? So therefore, if x approaches minus infinity, y also approaches positive infinity, not negative. Do you see that? Both same sides. So like this, you can give even and odd. How you can understand how uh, the behave. So in this fashion, you can actually understand the end behavior from both leading coefficients and degree, right? Let's do the last one here. And in this one, uh, let us find the degree and the leading coefficient. Degree here is 6, right? That is the highest degree. So 6, which is even, right? I mean 6, which is even. And leading coefficient is minus 2. That means it is negative. Negative means right side down, right? Negative means right side down. It means if x approaches positive infinity, y is approaching downwards, negative infinity. And even means same side. Same sides means like this, right? Same ends. So both go downwards. So when x approaches negative infinity, y approaches negative infinity. Correct. So that is how we can understand end behavior from the given functions. I hope it helps you to understand the concepts. We are going to take a couple of more examples. Watch the next video to understand this topic better. Thank you and all the best.